everybody it's christian buckley doing another mvp buzz chat and i'm talking today with rachel hello hi everyone <laughs> one of our our brand new mvps it's always exciting to talk to uh brand new first time mvps and get their perspectives on things for but rachel for folks that don't know you who are you where are you and what do you do okay hi everyone nice to meet you and um, nice to meet christian in visually and my name is Rachel Rabo. I'm a Microsoft Power Platform developer. I love calling myself a Power Platform advocate because I love thinking a lot about Power Platform. I love speaking at events and also contributing to the community. And in my current role, I work as a Dynamics 365 CRM developer where I use Power Platform applications and also Dynamics 365 applications in my day to day. I'm also a Power Platform trainer and a technical writer. And right now, yeah, yeah, go ahead. And right now, I'm from Nigeria, but I recently moved to Malta. That was last year. Mm -hmm. So this year makes it a year I've been in Malta. Yeah, so very exciting. So what what are the highlights over there? I, like I, I've never been over to Malta. Uh, uh, so yeah. what what is from a tourist perspective? Uh, you know, what's the uh, what's the allure to come to Malta? Um, I think Malta is nice. It's actually an island. Mm -hmm. So as my apartment right now, if I go outside, I have a very beautiful view of the sea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's perfect. And it's cold right now. We're actually in the winter. So it's a nice experience between coming from Nigeria and staying here in Malta because the weather is different. Mm -hmm. And also Malta is not very big, so you can actually move around very quickly. Well, that's yeah. very exciting. Well, I definitely need to get over to that part of the world again. Love to, uh, to uh, you know, in during warmer, like now we're, we're experiencing winter. I think ours is probably yeah. a little more harsh than yours. Is there in Malta? Yeah. But Malta uh, doesn't have snow. No, nope. <laughs> no, but, we don't have snow. But yeah. uh, well, very exciting. So what was your journey to becoming an MVP? Like, how did you find out about the program? How did you get started? Like, what, what did that process look like? Okay, I think for me, the process started with me coming into Microsoft Power Platform because before joining the Microsoft Power Platform space, I was a student and mm -hmm. I actually had no idea of who I wanted to be, like what my future career would look like. I, I was studying industrial mathematics, but I did not really know what I can use industrial mathematics for. Mm -hmm. So it was a nice, it was a nice opportunity where I got to learn about tech because then I did not really had much idea that okay they I I don't understand that they are there's tech you get but I did not know that it was so easy for anybody to come in like no matter where you are or who you are you can come into tech there are careers in tech so getting to know about the Microsoft Power Platform where I attended a bootcamp I got to know about Power Platform through attending a bootcamp so getting to know about Microsoft Power Platform and getting to, getting to see the things I could do, that I could build applications. I did not know how to code, so it was nice that I could build applications. I could build dashboard. I was very bad at building dashboards, so mm -hmm. let's just leave that out. <laughs> uh, there, hey, there's a lot of people that have been in the, the space for a long time that still struggle with building out yeah. the dashboards. and Yeah. Yeah. So I could work on building flows and also chatbots. So it was really, really nice. And I was like, okay, this is amazing. This is something mm -hmm. I really, really want to look into. So with starting my journey into Microsoft Power Platform and learning, it was a new space for me mm -hmm. and learning about things I could do. And then that was late 2021, 2022, beginning of 2022. I did not really, ha I was not really seeing much people in Nigeria who were into Microsoft Power Platform. So I wanted to learn more about it. I actually reached out to April Donan on LinkedIn. I reached out to Foyi. I reached out to Azure, a lot of persons. And I asked them that, okay, I want to know how your day-to-day -day looks like. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you, how do you work? What do you do? I just, I'm just fascinated with what you do. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know how, yeah, I want to know how it looks like because this tool is actually amazing. And I, from there, I started holding Twitter spaces. 
I said, was in Twitter spaces where I spoke about Microsoft Power Platform, how people can get started, because I felt that if I had these questions, then a lot of people out there who have heard about this platform, or they, are, they have seen customer success stories about how people are using this platform, maybe they do have questions too. So I started holding a Twitter space. I did that for five months. Mm -hmm where I started holding Twitter spaces, started inviting people from the community and speaking about it, which was really awesome because I was learning from it too. And I also got the opportunity for others too to learn from it. So it was a nice experience. From there, I went back to the boot camp I attended. Mm -hmm. I reached out to David Abu. He actually works in Microsoft and he was the one who organized the boot camp. I reached out to him that I want to be a part of the persons organizing this boot camp because it's, it is a new technology to me and a new space to me. I, I was finding it difficult to actually move forward, like learning. I was thinking my learning is too slow. How can I catch up with this particular technology? Yep. So I reached out to David Abu and told him that, okay, I want to be a part of the persons organizing this boot camp, which was great. I was a very shy person. <laughs> had, had, you done, uh, had you helped organize other events? Because that's a, that's a yeah. big deal. Okay, so you've done other event organization because that's something yeah. that is another area. There's one thing to be like a first-time speaker, a presenter at a conference, but to take on the role to get involved to help organize it itself. That was my first time. That was yeah. my first time. I think now I've organized a lot of boot camps, a lot of events, but that was my first time being a part of something you get. So I reached out to him and told him that I would love to be a part of organizing team to be able to help with organizing publicity and also help with training. I really had no idea about the platform then. What I could do then was just view the application from SharePoint, like your three screen views application, or maybe you're going to the other templates, going to the screen and building a three screen view application. That was what I could do then because I was just like one month into my journey. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so when I reached out to him, he said, okay, that's nice just reach out to people in Bini because I was staying in Bini city then in Nigeria mm -hmm. and he was in Lagos. So he said I should reach out to them and set things up with them. So it was a nice experience for me. I think for Microsoft Power Platform, apart from contributing to the community, it, it has been a very big growth for me. Like now I'm speaking to you so freely, I'm laughing, I'm dancing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it was not like this for me when I started. I was very shy. I had anxiety. Especially then when I started um, with the Twitter spaces, before I started, I actually attended people's Twitter spaces where I wanted to ask questions, mm -hmm. but I could not ask questions because I, <laughs> when, I, when I was trying to speak, I was stuttering, so it was kind of hard for me. So with going from that particular space to organizing and actually teaching, teaching about the platform, like yep. not really much, but just an introduction about the pl platform, what it is and where it can be applied. So it was a nice experience for me. And I don't, I don't know if I've jumped to the topic you asked me. <laughs> no, no. So what, no, I mean, you're, you're talking about like uh, all the, all of the, you know, uh, the activities that leading up to becoming MVP. Yeah. So when, so at what point, like who reached out to you and said, Hey, there's this MVP program. I think you'd be a fit for that. Yeah. It actually took, took a long time. And that was in, that was last year. Uh -huh. So it was the end of last year. And it was Kit, Kit Atatsun that reached out to me and told me that he wants to nominate me for the MVP program. Yeah. yeah. Cause there, you know, what's, what's great about this too. I mean, cause I think you fit in this category. It's been really exciting to look at some of the stories that have come out of power platform and whether you call yeah. them, you know, citizen developers or makers yeah. or whatever around yeah. that, uh, that you have a lot of, and there is, there's a handful of MVPs, I, I'm not, I'm say handful. I don't know how many there are that, <laughs> yeah, have, but some of the yes. first MVPs in the power platform space were people that were in like operations or HR yeah. or other areas that yeah. just started building solutions to solve problems and then yeah. talk about it, share it. That's it. They were yeah, it's amazing. Right. And they, yeah. I, I don't know what you, how you describe it. Like got caught up in the MVP you know, like, like it got into the speaking circuit, started yeah. wanting to do more. And, and uh, I mean, it, there's, that's, that's a nice thing about it too, is that you yeah. don't have to necessarily travel all over the world to, there's so many to online contribute. events, so many ways to yeah. contribute. Yeah. Sure. 
Yeah, because I before at least when I was in Nigeria, what I was doing then, I was I joined the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador Program. Mm -hmm. So I got to host events. I got to speak at different Power Platform user groups, and the, those were online. I contributed to the Microsoft um, Telecommunity blog. Mm -hmm. where I got to write about like a step-by-step -step process on how to build a step-by-step -step process. Or maybe there's something I saw and I feel that, okay, I had an, I had a block here or I was stuck at this particular point and I was able to resolve it. Or maybe somebody helps me yes. <laughs> to figure it out. I, I get to write a blog post on it because I, I do have, I write on Medium and also on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. So I, I just write a blog post on it so that maybe people too can help them. And me, myself, I can also go back to that blog post in the future, maybe when I have issues on that particular same step I was building. Yeah. yeah. So well, there, a lot of things. Well, there, there's, uh, and, and just mention a couple things too, that, that uh, I mean, one, there's the, you know, the student ambassadors, there's other programs, there's ways of getting involved um, yeah. you know, that way. Um, there's resources that are provided. Um, but, uh, you know, again, it all comes down to like sharing what you're actually working on you know, yeah. at your job, as you're exploring and learning things. Yeah. Um, I like what you said early on. It's like, I, when I, when I present and when I write about a topic and I'm like, I'm not claiming yeah. that I know everything about no. potential solutions. Definitely not. Yeah. I love having the interaction so I can continue yeah. learning how other people yeah. have approached the same or similar problems. Yes. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah, and I think um, one good thing too about writing blog posts too is that um, it gives you that particular opportunity because when you're writing a blog post, you have to think about different audiences. Mm -hmm. It's not just professionals that are going to read your blog post. Most times beginners, experts, depending on different levels. So when you write a blog post, you have to, even though you're writing it for yourself, because most times when I started, I was writing the blog post for myself. It was like a like a journal for me right but yeah when you're writing a blog post you have to think about okay there are different stages of people or stages of their career that are going to be reading this blog post so what can i do about it to make it that when a beginner reads this blog post it's going to be very easy for them to understand so right. i think that has helped me in my role because when I'm going through, because when you're working with Power Platform, you have to work with user stories, case studies. Yep. You have to work with documentation. So with being able to contribute blog posts, writing of blog posts, it makes it easier for me to be able to explain, to be able to write about what this particular solution is about. Right. Yeah. Well, that's it's. Uh, so I started out my career as a business analyst. So a lot of it was like, I understand, I might understand the technology, I might understand the solution I'm trying to build. Yeah. But you have to explain that to others. You have to explain the logic of the thing, the solution you're deploying that you're building yeah. and walk sure. them through that. It's the same with, to your point, it's like um, yeah. when you're writing and we, we work in, in the industry, um, we're working yeah. in the space, it's really, uh, we have to be careful not to use acronyms, to use yeah. words that... Yep. We completely it's understand, technical. right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and so going back and just think about it that that way, that make sure that you have your references, that you walk through and explain, you know, the yeah. logic of the article of what you're you're talking about. I just thought of something yeah. else too that you were talking about, talking with like the industry team. For folks that don't know this yeah. about like Microsoft making connections to Microsoft is they have all yeah. of the uh, you know the dozens of the industry teams, you know, in the healthcare yeah, sure. industry, public sector. Um, you yeah. know, the, the commercial realm, uh, retail, yeah, everywhere. manufacturing, <laughs> all the different groups. So if you are, yeah. if you have experience in that area and you could always reach out and connect with Microsoft teams, and they're always looking for connections and speakers yeah. and you know, experts out there. So you can yeah. go more in depth into your area of focus, your industry. If that's yeah. something that you're interested in, it's just another way to connect with Microsoft. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of stuff yeah. that's out there. Well, that's very exciting. So, uh, you know, any big events? What are your plans for 2024? I, I have a lot of plans. <laughs> I have a lot of plans. Like um, last year when I came to Malta, I have been thinking about speaking at physical events because I've been speaking at a lot of visual events. I'm speaking, organizing events. But I wanted to move forward in my journey. And you, you get that when you are learning, when you are on a path, you get to understand your weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And for me, I, I got to know that, okay, I'm not a very good 
public speaker. <laughs> yeah. I, when I started my journey, I got to know that I'm not a very good public speaker. Being able to communicate clearly so people will actually understand what I'm talking about. Yep. Yeah. So I was it's like, okay, helpful. I will. Yep. Yeah, it is. So I was like, okay, I want to move on this particular part. I want to work on myself. I don't want to just work on my technical skills. So right. the yeah, so what I planned for this year was that okay, I'm going to be speaking at physical events. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those are one of my goals for this year, speaking at physical events and you, also You know the call for speakers for ESPC, it, which is in December, but the call for speakers yeah. is open right now. It's going to be yeah. in Sweden. I've seen it. I'm definitely okay. going to submit a session. Right. Okay. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, and I'm actually speaking at Deva. I'm speaking at Deva this year for Dynamics Con. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking next week at um, Tallinn, Estonia, okay. for Cloud Technology yeah. Town Hall Tallinn. Mm -hmm. And also in Germany, I'm also speaking at Tennessee in February. So, oh, yeah. exciting. Oh, you're coming yeah, out to, to the Knoxville event. Yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah, yeah, I had I had hoped to go to that one, but I don't think it's going to happen for me. But it's uh, yeah, yeah, it's the it's the downside to being busy with work, you know. Is <laughs> yeah, I have yeah. to pick and choose in the events. There's a lot going on, but yeah, a lot of events. Yeah, yep. I I wish I could do it. I think I I would have attended every event happening. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, are you going to yeah. make it over to the MVP Summit in March? Um, it's two shots. Yeah. Uh, it's too short. Yeah. So maybe Power Platform Conference, hopefully. Yeah. Well, you have the online, a yeah. lot of great resources. It'll still, you'll still see some faces and um, yeah. get, get to know more of the community. But yeah, I definitely highly recommend next year um, yeah. you know, to, to sure. try and make it over if you're able to. So, well, Rachel, yeah. I really That's appreciate you know, connecting with you and getting, getting to know you. I'm sure we'll see each other at some of the events coming up. Um, yeah. I'll de definitely be in Stockholm at the end of the year. Um, <laughs> okay. For folks that want to reach out and connect with you, where are you the most, you know, a uh, uh, social? What, where can people find you online? I'm mostly on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I'm mostly on Twitter, and I'm also on LinkedIn. Yeah, huh? so, and I also have a podcast. I talk about Microsoft technology, and I will include the links in the blog post and uh, you know elsewhere, so you can find all the information about Rachel and and uh, reach yeah. out to her. And as I always say, uh, you know, don't be shy. If you've like anything that Rachel's talked about, we've talked about like inspired you, like excited, want to yeah. hear more about her story. Don't be shy, reach out. Cause the MVPs are yeah. some of the most friendly people out there <laughs> in the community. Yeah, they are, they are amazing. Yeah, really amazing. And it's awesome. Well, it's nice meeting you. Yeah, thank you, Kristen. <laughs> wow.